today we're going to make a, a jelly roll. A jelly roll. For my birthday. Mm -hmm. It's a cake, but it's rolled up. But I don't matter if it's not rolled up or it is. It doesn't matter. Because it's still for my birthday. He's very excited that we're making a cake for his birthday. This cake we are going to roll up. And it's going to be lots of fun. We're going to cook the cake. Oh. And then, hang on. And then we're going to cover it with jelly. And we're going to roll it up. And then you slice it. And it sort of looks like a, like a cinnamon roll. But it's a jelly roll. What is it, Robert? This cult is... You can see those are raspberries, so this is raspberry jelly. Raspberry is my favorite fruit. Yeah. But here we go. So we're going to start by telling you what the ingredients are yep. and the supplies that you need, and then we will start making the cake. Okay? I love flour! So I here we go. I with it! So we're going to need flour, sugar, baking powder, powdered sugar, Jelly, your choice of what flavor you want, salt, vanilla extract, and eggs. Three eggs, I think. Okay, and the supplies that you're going to need are two bowls, if you're going to use the sifter. If you're not going to use the sifter, you don't really need two bowls. And we're going to need a one cup measuring cup, a one quarter cup, a one third cup, one teaspoon, and one quarter teaspoon. So you'll need a jelly roll sheet slash cookie sheet, depending on what you call it. Um, the recipe calls for a 15 inch by 10 inch by one inch. Mine is a little bigger, which means my cake will probably be thinner and wider, um, but that's okay. It'll still taste fine, I'm sure. Um, we'll, you'll also need a a flat spoon to scrape the sides of the bowl um, as you stir. You also need a mixer, but you have to cover your ears when you hear this because it is super duper loud. Bring it over here so the camera can see. Okay, so I have a hand blender to use. You don't need to have one for this recipe. It just makes it a lot easier because we're going to be whisking up the eggs to make them kind of frothy. So it'll be really helpful if you have this, but if you just want to use elbow grease, then go for it. It's totally doable. Yes? Uh, cover your ears for this, because it is really loud. It's quite loud, yes. Yeah, when I heard you test it out, I was like, ah! I startled you. I didn't warn you. You'll need a cooling rack and a clean towel that can fit over your cookie sheet or jelly roll sheet. Um, Can I tell them the noise? You want to show them the noise? Okay. Oh, you knocked it out. Okay. Yeah, don't push that button. Push this one. Not really loud now. Well, it does feel like there's air on this. Okay. Be a flower monster. Flower monster. Ah. Oh my god. All right, Colts. So the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to three. Oh, there we go. Three. Seventy five. Three hundred. Seventy five degrees is how hot your oven will need to be. Um, and we're going to prepare our jelly roll sheet before we start making the batter. So I'm going to get some parchment paper and I'm going to cover the pan with it. So I've got my parchment paper down and now I'm going to grease it. I forgot to say that you need grease, but you do. You can use... Um, some shortening, if you have like Crisco vegetable shortening. I like to use this, it's called Baker's Joy. So it sort of like greases the pan and kind of flours it at the same time. Um, so if you have Baker's Joy, use that. If not, you can use Crisco. Okay, I'm gonna spray this. Ready, Robert? Watch, what color do you think it's gonna be when it comes out? Let's see, Mom. What color? Take a guess. Uh, brown? Brown? 
What do you think, Colt? What color do you think it'll be when it comes out? It's a baking spray with flour. Do you think it'll be yellow? Wait. Do you think it'll be brown? Do you think Wait. it'll be white? I think it'll be white. White? flour. White. Because it has flour in it. So you think it'll be white? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. It is! Yeah. Colt, did you think that? Did you guess that it was going to be white? Because it is white. See? All right. If you get a little bit of the spray outside the pan, that's no big deal. Um, we'll clean it up later. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. Don't worry, Colt. I want to get and turn it on. I was just practicing holding it. Man, that's really heavy. Flour, flour. I'm going to use it. I have the recipe right here so that I don't forget. Okay, so... Flour. We're going to start by sifting the flour, even though the recipe doesn't say to do that. We're going to go ahead and do that. You guys don't have to. Well, you guys also, if you don't have a sifter like we said before, you can use a whisk. You know, just whisk it up real good to get okay. some air in there. Nope. Okay. Now can I take some? You can grab the flour with this cup. Or how about this cup? Oh, we have more flour than usual. I added more. You added more? Mm-hmm. Great. It's cool that you noticed that we have more flour than we did last time. Let's sift it up. Sift. Sift it up. Yes, I will help you hold that. We're working together. So normally, like when we made the Irish soda bread, we used flour to add to the different surfaces to keep it from sticking. But with the jelly roll cake, instead of using flour, we're going to be using powdered sugar. It's like a castle! Is I mean, pretty? a pyramid! Oh no, curtain balls! Oh. Okay, okay, so we're not playing the flour. We sifted it so it would be nice and fluffy. So we're not going to squeeze into it and play with it too much. We're just going to leave it how it is. I'm a flour monster. Hey, can I stick my hand in the flour? No. No, no not that one, that one. No. Why? Okay, our next step is to beat the eggs up on high speed. It says about five minutes or until it's thick and lemon colored. So, do you want to make a letter J since we're doing the letter J this week? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's backwards. It goes this way. Oh. Do whatever you need. Do three eggs. Yeah. Wait, are we gonna crack it open? Yeah. Do you wanna crack one open? Alright, there's one. Did you get it on yourself? Yep. <laughs> Alright, go wash your hands. Yucky. Go on. Yeah, you're getting me too. Sorry, Colt. Did I get it on the camera? No, it's okay. Ugh. Mom, uh -huh. just, is I say yuck? Because I might crack it on myself. Oh, it's just a, it's not a big deal. Beat it, beat it.
start to see some little bubbles. Keep moving it around. Okay, let me try. There's some bubbles, but it's still kind of thin. We want it to get thicker. bubbles now. There's some bigger bubbles, there's some medium bubbles. Mom, shall we stop now? Not yet. Ah! Oh, it's it's like... in a circle, going in a circle. We lost our child helper. I think that having to beat the eggs for five minutes was a little bit too long for Robert's attention span. It's also very loud. And he will reason that since this is sort of his birthday cake, he shouldn't be a part of making it, that it needs to be a surprise. Uh, so he left. <laughs> so it's just gonna be us now. Um, our next step after we beat the eggs, and it did take a while to get to the right consistency. Um, our next step is to add in the sugar and the water. Now, I don't want to just add water. I feel like we could also add a little more flavor by adding water and mango orange juice. Since the cake is going to have raspberry filling, I figure this will all taste good together, right? So I have my third cup of water. I put in some water, but I'm also putting in some orange juice. Not a whole third cup. Just a little splash. Why not? Okay, so we're going to add in one cup of water one third cup of liquid. Um, so let me get my one cup of sugar ready. Here's one cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop in some sugar, like so. Oh, I spilled some. Is that okay? I'll just try to be a little more careful now. Let's see if I can be more careful. Oh, I spilled a little less. One cup of sugar, one third cup of liquid, and then we're going to be throwing in some vanilla. How much vanilla? One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, let me see if I can get my teaspoon ready. Here it is. Shake, shake, shake. Mm, vanilla. You know me. I'll probably add two teaspoons. Uh, but let's get that ready. Because once we start mixing it, we don't want to spend too long mixing it all up. We just want to Get it together and then put it in the oven so it doesn't get too mixed, so it doesn't get too dense. Okay, are you ready? It's gonna get loud again. Here we go. A little at a time, a little bit. Going in circles. One more. Okay. One more. It's getting really thick. It looks like pudding.
teaspoon of vanilla. Just one teaspoon. I'm gonna add two teaspoons. Don't tell anyone. Okay. I need one teaspoon of baking powder. There you are, baking powder. Double check that it says baking powder. This is one of those things that's really easy to get mixed up. Baking powder and baking soda and salt. So just double check that it says one teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon baking powder. Everyone everyone has done where they're making a recipe and they mix up two ingredients that sound or look similar and then your recipe comes out really funky and that's okay that always happens when you're learning we make mistakes and we learn from them okay so there's one teaspoon of baking powder and one quarter teaspoon of salt i double check my recipe one quarter teaspoon of salt i'm going to double check this that it says one quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to put pour in one quarter teaspoon. Well, that's a little more than a quarter. And shake, shake, shake. Now I'm going to add this. Boop. And then I will slowly add in my three quarter cups of flour, which I have here all sifted nice. So I'm going to mix this up and then I'm going to start adding in three quarter cups of flour. One quarter cup. And now, two quarter cups. Big circle. It's starting to get really thick. quarter cups. Cool. Now, if you had to stop your blender to add the flour, then that's okay. You can stop and use your full attention to scoop out the flour and even it out. Um, since I've been cooking for a long time, I'm pretty good at multitasking with my hands. Um, but if you need to stop the blender, to make sure that you're measuring carefully or just put your whole attention on that, that's totally fine. Okay, so I am going to use this scraper or spoon, I forget the word for it, and make sure that I scrape the sides because there might be flour on the sides, there might be salt on the sides, there might be eggs on the sides, and I'm just gonna scrape up the sides to make sure that it's all blended. Scoop, 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 scrape, 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 scrape. My hand blender is not very good at scraping the sides. It can hit the sides, bounce around off the sides, but it doesn't really scrape the sides very well. So I'm going to do that, and I'm scraping the bottom too. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Oh, I bet this is good. Oh, I really want to lick it. I know I shouldn't though. Scraping that off. I'm going to give it one more blend before I go pour it in our jelly roll pan. But I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, check it out, Colts. Here's what it looks like. Oof. Wait a minute. Oof. All right, my phone is dying, so I don't have a lot of time left right here. So I poured my batter into here, and it was really just like an oval blob like this. And I had to get this scraper to actually scrape it all the way to the sides, all the way. But you want to be careful to not actually touch the bottom because that's where that um, baker's joy was. So I don't want to scrape off the baker's joy. So I just lightly scrape the top of it to get it all the way to the corners, all the way to the edges and smooth it out. 
And I had to do that pretty quick while my phone was recharging um, because we want to get this in the oven as soon as possible. Here we go. My oven's ready. It is dirty, sorry. And I'm going to stick this in the middle, as much in the middle as I can. And I'm going to set my timer for 12 minutes. Twelve minutes on the clock and we are going to clean up a little bit and when that timer goes off we can check on it see you then okay so now I have the table somewhat cleaned up um, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle powdered sugar on this clean towel so that when our cake is ready we're going to plop it down on here and take off the parchment paper I'm gonna roll it up. Okay, cool. Since I can't find the toothpicks, I'm gonna to have to use a butter knife. A butter knife will work just fine. It's just not as clean and pretty as using a toothpick. It makes a bigger dent, but it'll be fine. It's what I usually use it anyway. Ooh, that smells very good. I wonder if it is done cooking. Since our pan is wider um, and longer, that means the cake batter was thinner, so it probably cooks a little faster. I think it's done. I think I'm gonna let it sit on the pan a little bit longer, but I believe, I believe this is done cooking. So let me turn off the oven. We'll let that sit just a little bit longer, but look at that, there's no burnt edges. It's like a little bit brown. Ooh, a little spongy because we whipped up the eggs so that when at any time that you whip up the eggs in a recipe, it's always going to give you a nice fluffy spongy cake. If you don't whip the eggs, um, it's still good, but the eggs will act more as like a gluing agent to sort of bind everything together. But when you whip up the eggs, it makes it look really airy. So look how spongy it is. Bounce, 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 bounce. That's what yours should look like. If yours is a little more cooked at the edges because you used a smaller jelly roll sheet, that's fine. Um, you can even cut off the burnt edges if you have burnt edges. That's... Who cares? Nobody cares. So, boop, 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 boop. That looks good. Okay. Things are to get hot. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just going to stick my whole hand in there. Why not? Okay. I'm going to do, you know what Miss Consuela does when she starts circle time, the thing with her hands? I'm going to do that. Oh, I spilled some on the floor. That's no big deal. Boop, 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 boop. Dop, dop, dop. I'm going to get some more. Make sure we get the edges. Do, 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 This recipe is super, super messy. And that is okay. You want to do something messy? You do this. You want to do something cleaner? Go back to the ice pops. I think it's ready. It's gonna be hot, but you have to do it while it's hot. You can't let it cool like this. Okay. Cool. It tore. Got to be careful. Careful, careful, careful. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a giraffe, like a reverse giraffe. Hmm. This side is sticking a little bit. Get off of there, you. Okay. We're going to slowly peel this off. If you did not have parchment paper and you chose to use foil, um, you're going to have to be really careful because the foil is just going to tear and tear and tear. The parchment paper will still tear, but not quite as much. Oh, look at that. It's tearing up my cake. It's tearing my cake, y'all. And that parchment paper didn't come off. My cake's very thin. 
that might not be a good thing. Does the cake have to be pretty? Nah. We're just going to roll it up anyway. And we're going to cover it in pretty powdered sugar. Be like some tasty snow. You know, I'm just going to rip it. Let's do it. It's good. I can't really taste the orange. Oh well. All right, let me get these pieces off. I realize that your Colts will probably not be so careful. So here, here's what it looks like when someone's not careful. Not a big deal. Hmm, this edge is a little more burnt than the other one. And by burnt, I mean just kind of stiff. This is fine. I'm just going to take it off. Doesn't matter. Now, we're not going to put on the jelly yet. We're going to roll it up and let it cool for 30 minutes. not that hot. There's my cooling rack and there's my jelly roll cake. After 30 minutes we're going to unroll it and we're going to put on the jelly and then we'll roll it back up. We'll be done. Whew. All right Colts, it has been 30 minutes so the cake is all cooled off. I am going to get out my raspberry jelly and kind of Stir it up a little so it'll be easier to spread. I think that's probably, yeah, let's get a little more. I'm not measuring any. You can measure it if you want, but I don't think it's a big deal. And I'm going to just give it a good mix. Get it ready to spread. Yeah, there we go. It's also been out at room temperature for a while, so that definitely helps. You don't have to do it as fast as I do. You can do it at your own pace, but we just want it to be something that can spread well. I think if you wanted to make it a little easier on yourself and put it in the microwave, then that's probably not a big deal. But don't do it for too long, maybe 20 seconds tops. But look at that, that looks like it's ready to spread. Ooh, a little jelly there. I'm gonna wipe that on that. Okay. good. A little torn up on the edge. That's fine. It'll still taste just fine. Since our cake is so thin, we'll probably want to spread our jelly pretty thin. Let's see if we need more than what I already poured out. Hmm. That's the pretty edge, and this is the ugly edge. I probably should have rolled it the other way. Hindsight. Well, maybe next time we'll do that. Now that I know. That's what hindsight means. When you learn something by making a mistake, you gain some hindsight. All right. I think that's pretty well covered. I think I'll add a little bit more on the ugly part. Mas. Aquí, y aquí, y aquí. Okay. So if you don't get yours all the way at the edge, um, that just means you're going to have parts of your cake that don't have jelly in it. Um, but it's still cake, so it's going to taste fine. Uh, if you have parts that have a little too much jelly, you're just going to have a big lob of jelly. Um, so the texture might be a little more inconsistent. Now, here we go. Hmm. Whoa. Ooh. 
Oh, mine's kind of tearing up a little bit. Uh-oh. Making really small, really careful movements. Maybe I should have used more powdered sugar. That's some more hindsight. I probably needed more powdered sugar than I actually used. My cake is tearing. That means I'm just going to move even smaller, even slower movements. Look at my hands. My fingers are like a little spider. Spider, 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 spider. And I'm pulling the towel a little bit as I spider my fingers over. Teeny tiny movements. Slightly pulling the towel. If your cake tears, then we can find a new solution. Maybe you can use jelly as a glue. Or you can just keep on moving. Because look, those pieces that tore in the beginning, now they're in the middle of the cake. So even though those pieces were torn, you can't even see it. You definitely won't taste it. It's all going to taste like cake. I think if I had a smaller pan so that my cake was a little thicker, this would probably be easier. But I don't, so it's not. Okay. Woohoo. You know, that still looks pretty good, even though it was, it was all messed up on the sides, but look at that. Looks awesome. And now I'm going to top it off with some more powdered sugar. And it's all done. Woo, look at that. I am going to tell Robert to come down here to try it. Oh, look, Robert. What do you think? Wow. Wow. Do you like it? Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Maybe not that piece. Bye. Hmm. It's a little hard to cut. All right, knock yourself out. What does it taste like? Is it good? Sugar and jelly. <laughs> it tastes like sugar and jelly, huh? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. How do you? I do. It's really sweet. I think if your cake is a little thicker, the jelly might not soak in as much, but it's still, it's still really sweet. So you'll probably want to eat it with like a cup of cold milk or a cup of coffee. Ugh. What? Coffee. Gross. No, not for the Colts. For the Colts' parents. Coffee and jelly roll cake? Oh, it tastes good together. And really, a little bit goes a long way. You don't want to cut big, thick slices because it's very sweet. Fun to make, though, right? Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining us in our cooking class. Bye, Colts.